Nissan's plant in Aguas Calientes is the first facility out of the entire Renault-Nissan alliance to use 50% renewable energy. The company's team in Mexico is proud of that accomplishment. Aguas Calientes 1 will be the first plant in the globe to have 50% of the, their energy coming from sustainability resources, eolic and biogas. That's a reality and something that really makes us all very proud in Mexico. In March of 2012, Nissan signed up with a company outside of Mexico City to purchase electricity generated from waste, or biogas. Here's how it works. Gases generated from the breakdown of organic matter, like what's here in this landfill, can be used as fuel to make electricity. Nissan purchases some of that energy to account for 5% of what's needed to power the plant in Aguas Calientes. It's a question of, uh, you know, really being advocates of uh, protecting the planet for the generations to, to come. Nissan also partners with another company called Enel Green Power to purchase electricity generated by wind or eolic energy. Enel has about 100 windmills in southern Mexico in a city called Oaxaca. These windmills are 80 meters high, and each arm is 40 meters long. We are one of the leaders in terms of available resource. So that's pretty much the reason why Enel right now is here in Mexico. Mexico is rich in natural resources like wind, sun, water, and rain. Mexico's government and power grid are supportive of alternative green energy sources. They want to help meet the country's growing demand for energy, expected to rise 4.5 percent annually. It's a country with a lot of people, it's growing, it's a huge economy, which is growing by the way, which requires a lot of electricity, and we want to be part of this growth. Nissan Mexicana purchases about 45% of electricity used by its Aguas Calientes plant from Enel's wind farm. With the biogas, 50% of Nissan's Aguas Calientes plant's energy comes from sustainable sources. We need to, to keep and try to enhance more of our consumption free of the CO2. Company leaders have said they hope to reduce CO2 emissions significantly across the globe, even though vehicle sales are supposed to rise. Mexico is the first of several countries where the company's CEO has said he plans to establish these kind of sustainable partnerships.